Okay, we get into our overhead cradle. Now, for, for a long time when I first learned an overhead cradle, it was good for me. It was like my favorite move in middle school. I got better, my competition got better. I couldn't really get to my overhead cradles anymore because I didn't have any good setups. Sometimes I catch it off a front headlock. But the idea of being on top of a guy and hopping out to the side and cradling it just it just became unrealistic. Uh, so finally I got to college. Someone showed me a more high level setup that still works for me to this day, and I like it. Maybe you'll like it too. Take a look. I have my ankle waist, so we'll get the ankle waist, we'll do the whole thing. Looking down, got to my ankle waist. Now, what I'm gonna do first step, head butt, uh, elbow him right in the ear. I want my fingers on his chin. Notice my forearms are along his sideburns, so it's almost like I'm holding a football, and this is the most important part. I want to take the top of his head and put it into where my stomach is. So I scooped it, and now I'm just bringing it in here nice and tight. Go ahead, Jermaine, get out. All right? If you've noticed, I've got his neck all the way bent as far as it'll go. So he's going to be pretty much effectively stuck in there. If you're familiar with the extended spine concept, you'll totally know, know that he's pretty much effectively paralyzed for the time being. So again, I elbow and boom, suck it in, and here I am. Now he's going to be trapped here. Okay, so now what I'm going to look to do is I'm going to try to pull his knee to his head. Boom, I just did it. Okay, I know you can't really see that well from over there, so we'll slip. We'll spin around. Take a look. I lock it up again. Here I am. And now what I'm going to do is with my leg, I'm going to scoot it and as I bring his head to his knee. Right there. I just brought it all together. Here we are again. We were here. I had it extended. And I bring it all together. Last step, I put my head inside my lock. The way I'm locking my hands, we're using cradle grip. I'm locking like this. I don't like this grip. I, I never use this grip in wrestling. The only other grip I use is wrestler's grip, but with our cradles, I prefer this grip. I feel this grip is solid. So again, here I am. Locked it in tight. Circle the right to his head, bring it all together. His head's at his knee. I lock it up. Bump him, move it to whatever finish I like. Okay, excellent.